Hello friends, welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimple Dalal, and today we are going to discuss about graphitis. Disclaimer: This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Let's start our discussion on graphitis. Graphitis are quiet, humble, gentle and straightforward people and are described as normal and pleasant by most of the people who know them. They have a down-to-earth kind of personality. They have simple, practical approach to life, uncomplicated by intellectual pretensions and they are calm and sensible. They have a kind of innocence. They are uncomplicated without being stupid. They tend to say what they think and to be straightforward and free from cunning intelligence. They cannot manipulate others for their own purpose. They are introspective, shy and timid individuals. They are shy of people and because of their shyness, a graphitis remains a relatively quiet person even in a familiar company. There is a marked fear of mental work. They become very restless when attempting close mental work. They may have difficulty in deciding between two or more options since they lack the confidence to take risk. They rely heavily on others to take decisions for them as they have a fear of making wrong decision. They are caring and empathetic and will generally become distressed when confronted by another suffering. They have less difficulty in coping with the material world since they have a good degree of common sense and also quite often a keen intellect. As a result of their warm heart, allied to a sensible mind, graphitis are usually found in caring profession. Graphitis individuals are fatty, flabby, jolly and very uncomplicated. They always put their family first. Family life is generally their first love. They have an artistic quality in them, but they rarely abandon their first love to make their way as artists commercially. Graphitis is a feminine type who seldom put their ego or their intellect before their heart. They are not ambitious people and they do not seek responsibility, but will perform their work honestly and reliably. They are solid, dependable partners who are affectionate for the most part and sensitive to their partner's feelings. They are natural, loving and caring parent who will put their family's need before career or public expectations. Graffitis are usually very dependent upon a few close relationships and when these are absent or become stressed or have difficulties in their close relationships, they suffer greatly. Graphitis tends to be content as long as their personal life is loving and secure, but can be oversensitive to disharmony in their relationships, and they may become very moody when their partner or parent does not behave lovingly towards them. Graphitis may exhibit the whole spectrum of negative emotions when they are upset, and they are not able to hide them even when they want to. In a dispute with a loved one, they may at first withdraw and brood with an intensity that imposes a dark, heavy cloud on all around them. They will refuse to admit to being upset, hide their face, and just answer in monosyllables when spoken to. Then they will either find some solitude and cry, or begin crashing around the house, slamming doors and crashing things like crockery in an attempt both to announce their anger and to diffuse it. Now can you guess why graphitis behaves like this when they are upset? One of the reasons why graphitis crashes about without actually addressing their grievance to other person is because they are afraid of confrontation. Though graphitis are gentle and sensitive individuals, they can get frustrated enough to become very angry. There is irritability about trifles. They become extremely fretful and impatient and when this happens, they announce their anger tangently, not daring to express it directly. 
when graphitis does express their grievance verbally they generally break down into tears rather than shouting they hate disharmony and will generally forgive and make up very quickly providing the other person meet them halfway their emotions are generally close to the surface and are stable but still become quite labile when problem arise their mood changes constantly they may become confused and despair with themselves because they are one moment happy and the next moment tearful and morose and at the same time graphitis may entertain self doubt and even some self condemnation another result of their labile emotion is their increased irresolution their indecisiveness increases and they cannot make up their mind to do or not to do they are generally capable and sensible intellect become paralyzed when they are at all emotional causing them to agonize over the smallest decision the mind becomes weak resulting in slowness of thoughts at these times they may rely heavily on others to make up their mind for them this indecisiveness arises from the fear of making wrong decision and the fear of negative outcomes that may result from the wrong decision whilst we are on the subject of fear let us take a look at graphitis fearfulness in general as we have discussed earlier graphitis are very timid individuals they are afraid of adventurous physical activities they are over sensitive to the slightest noise especially at night they may have a fear of ghost the common fear in graphitis individual is a general fear of future there is a tendency to be pessimistic or rather to fear the worst when considering the future and this fear may sometimes inhibit action these fears are transient and cannot dominate for long another common fear among graphitis individuals is fear of losing their loved ones as discussed earlier graphitis individuals develop deep attachments to family and friends and they are usually very aware of their dependency upon them This gives rise to a nagging fear of losing their loved ones. They become apprehensive and distressed. There is extreme anxiety and desperation. They suffer greatly from bereavement. Grief and vexation is the cause of all their distressing mental sufferings. Due to bereavement, they enter into the state of grief and then depression. they develop weakness of memory they may recall all the past events but recent events are forgotten the mental depression is extreme and it is worse by music their sadness is so great that they think of only death and salvation so this was our presentation on graphitis if you have found value in this video please don't forget to like and share it with others If you have not subscribed to our channel please do so now please provide your valuable feedback thanks for watching bye